Alrighty, uh, this one I'm excited to talk about. I got all kinds of tape here uh, behind us. Uh, so I wanted to talk a little bit about tape and taping. And, uh, and of course, we would use this when we're polishing, right? Whether we're taping off trim uh, or we're taping off a an area, an edge where you might uh, burn through or hit uh, the, the surface of the pad. Uh, we've got all kinds of tape here that we need to talk about, right? All different kinds. So I'll take you through a little brief history of my tape obsession and how much tape I've bought. Uh, this is a fraction of the amount of tape I, I've, uh, I've, I've purchased over the years. This is the, you're seeing the, the evolution. You're seeing, this is the, toward the end of my, my taping uh, chase. All right, so, so of course, you know, the simplest and most generic form would be to get some scotch in a regular old, uh, whatever you want to call this, off-white or manila masking tape. Of course, the issue here is uh, residue. You have a tendency to this to leave uh, marks behind, right? So you'll leave a little bit of uh, a little junk behind. And so that's where painter's tape comes in, right? So you get a good old-fashioned blue painter's tape, which still works, still works fine. Um, sometimes it sticks, sometimes it doesn't, to the, depending on the surface. But the same thing with all of these tapes. Depends on the humidity, depends on what you have on it. Um, a lot of times you want to wipe down with IPA before you're taping. Make sure you're decontaminated really clean. Soap residue, things like that. All that stuff can affect your, your paints, your, your tape's adhesion. Uh, so blue painter's tape, and I've got all different sizes, right? We've got uh, one inch. This looks like one and a quarter inch. It doesn't say on the thing. So I've got one and a quarter. I've got one, uh, I've got one inch. Inch, I've got three quarter inch, uh, I've got you know two inch, uh, and sometimes you can get even bigger. Here's a one and one and a half inch or one and three quarter inch. So I've got all different kinds of sizes of this. There's also frog tape, which sucks. I don't know why anybody buy this tape is not. Uh, I don't know. I've never liked this tape. It doesn't do well for painting. Doesn't do well for uh, for for doing cars because it's not very sticky. Uh, so I've never had really good success with that in painting or in, in doing cars. And so then you have uh, 3M Automotive Refinish Masking Tape, right, which, um, which is generally yellow in nature. Uh, so this would be for body shops and painters, you know, to mask off surfaces. Uh, I've never really liked this very much. And so my go-to has been uh, Scotch 233 Plus, right? This is body shop tape. Uh, so 233 Plus is what they use for a lot of times for masking off, for painting. Um, this stuff is very similar to painter's tape. Um, I haven't really noticed much of a difference other than the color. Um, I think it does tend to stick a little better at times, maybe leave a little less left over. Again, I never really had a problem with painter's tape leaving left over. The issue with painter's tape was its pliability. Uh, same thing with this, not very pliable. Uh, and, and, you know, it's been, this has been my go-to for quite some time uh, and uh, until credit uh, going up to uh, Esoteric uh, and Todd and Zach and Dan turning me on to onto, uh, Kamikaze's tape, right? Right. And so um, you have to, we, again, using 233 plus, I've got all different sizes. So I went out, once I discovered this, it's really hard to find. Um, you have to really shop for it. Um, you have to try to get it. 3M in general is really hard to get. Um, especially if you want a specific size. There's all kinds of random retailers that distribute it online. And I think 3M is much more commercial based. So us, you know, DIY guys, we have a hard time getting a hold of this stuff. You have to go through distribution and distribute it. It's just a very old school door-to-door -door sales mentality. Um, and so these are hard to find on Amazon, all these different sizes. But I took an exercise one day and went and bought some on eBay, bought some on Amazon, bought some from some random shade online dealers of, uh, of stuff that you know some crappy old websites uh, and I've gotten you know a large a large selection of all the different sizes you never need this big size I don't know why I bought it and here's an even bigger size so here's the I think this is yeah this is the uh, 72 millimeter size uh, so I bought a bunch of rolls of this actually yeah this is the even bigger size so I've got the biggest sizes as well, which I never use for anything. I forget what these were. 
what sizes these were. These were like 90 millimeters, something like that. So anyway, we've got all the different sizes. Most of this stuff, um, this is made in Canada. I think regular painter's tape, this is made in Mexico. Um, the regular Scotch stuff or the regular, where is this one made? Looks like, yeah, also Mexico. It doesn't say where frog tape is made on the, on the container. So anyway, we have all these different different tapes. I learned about this stuff. Um, this is uh, 3M vinyl tape, really thick, uh, rubberized, almost like electrical tape, but won't leave quite the residue. Uh, I've never really used this stuff, but I have it. Um, this stuff I learned about from uh, Mike Phillips. Uh, this is what you would use. You use this a lot on classic cars where you have these peaks, and so you would vinyl tape it off. Uh, and the nice thing about it is you can pull a line, like a, you can pull an S if you needed to on the vinyl tape. So I've had these for years. I thought I needed them, but I've never used them for one single thing, but, but I've got them anyway. These are pretty expensive. So again, I was just mentioning, um, this is uh, uh, Kamoi tape. Uh, this is, uh, or, or, you know, kamikaze tape. And so, you know, Kamoi, I think, is the Japanese standard. They're the manufacturers, and I think from what I can tell, they're the only ones that make this semi-transparent, very pliable uh, tape, which just so happens to work really, really well for masking off your car. And so I've been pitching this and talking about this for a really long time. This stuff is amazing. It's really thin. The adhesive is nowhere near as aggressive or as grippy as, say, blue painter's tape. Um, but it, uh, it, for whatever reason, it does bond really well with all the plastics on a car, or glass on a car, and you can pull it and, and twist it a little, little bit better. Uh, the other nice, the nicest thing about this when you're doing it is it tears much easier. It's much thinner. Uh, it's almost uh, it has a transparent, transparentness to it. You know, if you can see here, you know, if you can see the, you know, my thumb through it. Um, there's a, the, the, this is pretty transparent tape. Um, so I set out to see, you know, is there a more efficient way to get a hold of this stuff? You'll roll through a couple of these tapes and you know, the rolls of tape in a car. You know, they're like, you know, five, six, seven bucks a piece, depending on what size you get and, uh, you know, what you know, shipping costs are and where you live. Uh, and then they're out of stock a lot of times because they're coming from Japan. Uh, and as far as I've been able to find, um, um, there, there are only a few suppliers of this stuff. So, you know, Kai from Kamikaze is sourcing this from Kamoi and then, you know, providing it to, to Esoteric and then they're distributing it. And, you know, it's certainly a great option, a great resource. They have it in the little, little, little roughly, I guess a little bigger than, or a little smaller than quarter inch size. Yeah, no, I guess that is, yeah slightly smaller than quarter inch size. And so I went and I found a company uh, that is the US representative for Kamoi tape. It's called MT Tape. Uh, but again, they only sell in these smaller sizes, the 0.7 inch or 0.7, yeah, 0.7 inch size. Uh, well, you know, where I want one inch and two inch, you know, I want a bigger, bigger size. And so I reached out to them. So see, I bought a green roll and I bought a blue roll these rolls are even smaller than the traditional, like this is a new roll of kamikaze. Uh, and so you're getting, I don't know how many meters of tape, uh, but not a whole heck of a lot of tape in it, you know, in this tiny little roll, maybe, maybe 20 meters, something like that. I'm not sure how much is on here. Um, and so I, I think I've sourced this. I've been interested in this for a while. I saw the videos of this years ago um, at SEMA. There's like one video online. So I'll be like the second video ever of 3M precision tape. Uh, so this is it. This is the tape. Uh, so this says made in Japan. So I'm guessing this is made by Kamoi for, um, you know, for, uh, for, for, you know, for, for 3M. I'm guessing that's where they get it from. Uh, the nice thing about it is I'll be able to get lots of it and it comes in a 60 meter roll. So a giant roll of tape, you know, rather than, you know, just to give you an idea of volume wise. So here's a, again, a new roll of, of Kamikaze. So you see how much more tape we're getting. Hope you can see that. Zoom in there. I have to look up. I don't know how long, how big these rolls are, um, but but you know the obviously the, the you have more thickness. We have more tape and a bigger roll, so it's considerably more. Uh, and I think these I don't know what the pricing is, but you know somewhere 11, 12 bucks a roll, uh, and then I can get it whatever size I want. And so I like one inch, 
two inch. So I like the quarter inch just in case I have, like especially on my Porsche, I've got that ridge that runs down the, you know, the center or runs down the left and right side of the, of the, um, of the roof. And so I can run two little beads or two little rolls of, of, the, of the, the, the quarter inch. And so you know, here's, I already have a used roll here. So here is the, again, uh, this feels exactly like Kamoi tape. So I almost guarantee it's the same thing. Um, but here is, you know, it's transparent so you can see through it, right? It's the same ish idea where you can tear it very easily, you know, so it tears off nicely and then it lays down perfectly. So you get the precision uh, taping, which, and, and, and my guess is because of the thinness of this, um, the adhesive's a little less uh, apparent. You know, there's, there seems to be less adhesive on this. I would think that you'd have more or less residue issues when you, you know, when you're polishing. I know I might be making that up, but you know, you generally don't want to run the polisher across especially you know painters tape is very porous there's lots of you know lots of adhesive on it uh, it just you know I, I guarantee you when you run a polisher across this you're grabbing all kinds of residue off of this you know off of this stuff maybe a little less on the body shop tape uh, but it's the same basic porous surface with lots of adhesive behind it so this precision tape just does really really well for um, for for you know you know, polishing for taping off the car and polishing comes off seamlessly goes on nicely uh, and then the nice thing about it is it's it's a little easier to carry a radius you know if I want to carry an edge on something you know I can turn it a little bit easier I just messed it up but you get the idea I can turn it a little bit easier you know on the edge of like the windows and stuff like that it's still not like vinyl where you can pull it and stretch it you know it just kind of folds over on itself but I found it a lot easier to tape off emblems and things like that with uh, with the precision tape so I found it uh, so that I don't think we even need any of this, this 233 stuff. I don't think we need this anymore. This costs about the same thing, if not more, if you can't find it. Um, so the 3M Precision Tape to me is the solution. You know, so here's the, you know, the two inch, two inch for when you're taping off. I use this a lot for headlights and tail lights because I generally want to tape off the whole thing. Uh, or if you have some trim around like the bottom of my, my GT3, I generally want to use the two inch so I can get a, you know, because I don't want any fling or anything getting on that plastic trim. And so I use the two inch stuff for that. And so the package, the polishing package includes this and I include two rolls of two inch, two rolls of one inch, uh, and then one of the, of the quarter. Uh, so my suggestion is you'll probably buy one of these and have it for the rest of your life. Um, I would, you know, if I were buying these, if I were you, um, I'd probably buy, you know, I'd want four or five in my cabinet of each of these sizes. Uh, so, you know, selfishly, I'm, I'm selling this stuff to you, but I would probably want four or five rolls of this. Uh, now, man, let me take that back. If you're, if you're not polishing your car, maybe you're polishing once a year, I'd probably want three rolls because you might go through half a roll per polish. Three rolls will probably last you, you know, four or five years, but it's nice to have. You might use it for other stuff around the house. So anyway, I'm, I'm hoping I can keep this stuff in stock. Um, since it's 3M, uh, I'm going through distribution. You can't generally buy direct from 3M, uh, but you know, th my guess is this stuff is gonna be scarce from now until forever, especially when you know, other people start using it now that we're talking about it as a group. So anyway, in the Obsessed Garage store, part of the polishing package and available wall card as well. Uh, and check out obsessedgaragedoor.com. Uh, go to obsessedgarage.com. You can link to the store uh, or you can always shoot me an email, matt at obsessedgarage.com if you have questions about things. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more cool stuff like this. I love this stuff. So what happens when the, when the force pulls you back, your foot naturally comes off the gas. You have to keep your foot to the floor.